Hey everyone, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center. Um, today we're going to talk about just uh, something we've talked about once or twice already before, but I think it's very important, and I want some of you new jacks also to learn how to do this. It's how to lower your crown. Um, you don't have to be so obsessed with the crown height of this hat and this hat and everything. What's the crown height? We're not that. We don't even usually keep track of them at the shop because we know we could just lower it. You know, so if somebody's a little shy of you know they don't want the high crown or something or they're short or whatever, not used to it, we can just lower it and it's very easy. You just lower the front section right here and that's the sort of makes the hat look lower, you know, just this front chunk. This part here in the back where your head is, that's dealing more with fit and depth. Okay? And over here is going to give you the appearance of a high hat or a low hat. This little chunk in the front, that part. Okay. So you can make it high, you can you could lower it yourself. Uh, generally, you know, we lower it. We don't make things higher. Um, this is a trick to making something look a little higher. You could kind of fake it. And, um, yeah, if you're afraid of that, just don't, don't worry about it so, you know, that much. You could always lower it yourself. It's an easy trick. You, you hit the front chunk here with some steam and you just do it, you know. I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it. So. I figured since I'm doing a... Uh, a video I've already done like at least twice before. I'm going to do a song I've already done at least twice before. So um, it's another Elton John song. Hey, I'm on an Elton thing lately. <laughs> Soon the pines will be falling everywhere. Yes, children find each other for sure. When the six moon goes running past the tree, we can leave every summer for the tree. So grandma, yesterday and I'm at the store Where she is really going to find what we get for Well, she asked me if some time to fix the phone Oh girl, she needs a home to grow up for this good old time to comfort in my body Just the sweetest song in my head Every night It's a no-fetched feeling From the ground To comfort Down at the way the blood of the machine And he said, cause my power, my 15 Thank 
the contract is in my palm. on my head, okay, because it's a light color, lighter than black, and I think it should be a little easier for you to kind of grasp what I'm doing. All right, let me take the guitar off. Oh, guitar is off. Okay. All right. You got a hat. You want to lower the crown. It's not a big deal. It's not an emergency. You could just get that crown down. It's not hard. Um, getting a steam source can be hard because sometimes holding the hat above the flame, you know, makes the hat kind of screw up and stuff. So yeah, you need some good steam. Steam iron is probably better if you have that. Uh, there are like Norelco steamers at home and uh, Amazon and places like that that are like I don't know, ten or fifteen bucks and stuff. Uh, yeah, if you go way down, there's a very inexpensive ones, but the stove is. I've never done the stove. Um, I generally will use a steam iron if there's no steam, or you know, Jiffy steamers are usually available. I have those too, but doing it yourself can be tough. Um, you can skip that step, um, but yeah, steaming is definitely going to be better. If you skip it, what I suggest doing is uh, after you get your new shape, pinch it in really, really hard, pinch it in super hard. Give it a little bit of spray of some stiffener, maybe a little bit of spray of some hairspray, just a bit. Um, that's optional. But uh, you're not going to get good shape and, uh, without steam. You're going to get, let's put it this way, you could pinch it in. You could just pinch in a new shape, but the old shape will kind of remain. All right. So I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to do it without, uh, without steam at all. So basically, if I make a, a lower crown, I'll have that, and I'll also have this, and I'll be able to snap it to both, to the lower or the higher, you know, depending on what I want. All right, so what you're basically doing is you're taking this shape, this U shape, and you're just going to bring it down. You know, you're going to do a lower version, okay? The way you're going to do that is you're going to push it back and tuck it into itself, okay? Kind of pushing it and lowering it, okay? This is what I do is I look at it this way. So you put it against your chest, you look down at it. Got your two hands, you put the pit down right in here. Okay, what you're doing is you're bringing it down. What you're doing, echo that line, just bring it down. Make it look graceful, symmetrical on both sides. You don't want it too pointy and you don't want it too wide and round either and you don't want to go too far down, you want it to look good. In other words, the new shape that you make has to be convincing that it looks like a crown shape. Okay? Alright. That might not be perfectly symmetrical, but it's kind of like convincing. Okay? So there's my new crown shape. Now what I would do right now is pinch it in really hard. Um, like this. Pinch it. Just pinch that new shape in. Go around to hold, pinch that shape in. Okay. What you got from the side, it's blending down. It's lower before we were up here or something. All right. The old shape is still there. That's the temple. Our new shape is down there. Let's see if I can give you this view of it. Standard temple. Okay. 
the lower you go, the harder it is to play it off like it's a natural shape. But you can do it. You have to just, you know, sculpt it. Go a little lower this time. Alright, not completely convincing. Let's work on it then, if there's something wrong with that. Sometimes you have to just own the shape. You have to say, okay, this is it. I'm pinching it in very hard. Once you say, okay, I've decided on a shape, don't make millions of shapes and stuff, and then pinch one in, because, you know, try to set it once, and then pinch it in, and that's it. Because once you're pinching, you're kind of, almost like blocking the hat, you know, you're making some sort of permanent little line there. The harder you pinch it in, obviously, the more permanent. So, see how this hat looks now. Yeah, it's just like a low crown hat. One thing is you can spread these. They tend to come together. You can spread it out. Something that happens when you lower crowns. So make sure it's spread out, yet, you know, lowered. So that's a kind of a lower crowned version. We just did that. Okay, there are some tricks. One thing you can do if you don't have steam is just this area right here. Wet it. Just a little. Just this new line. Just wet it a little bit. Okay, if you have a wet spray bottle, you can do that. But just a little. Okay, don't saturate that bad boy. Okay, you could get a paper towel with some water, dab it. That'll act kind of like steam. Let it dry. Don't mess with it while it's drying. There's your lower crown. Pinch it in really hard. Um, if you can't steam it, sometimes using the stove sucks. You know, it's not the best thing. Steam iron would work better. But yeah, you could lower any crown. Now, when you start mega lowing, getting really, really low, you know, I'm approaching it now, you gotta lower the back too, otherwise it becomes this like back high, low front thing, kind of like this Gus thing, you know, like a 10 gallon hat, you know. Um, so what you gotta do is basically, uh, when you're making it super, super low, is you go to the back and you just do it here, but just slightly. You don't have to do it a lot back here. Bring it back a touch. Bring that in a little, a little lower, and then uh, you know, pinch it in. And then what's going to happen is as you bring everything down, you're going to hit the top, and that's going to balance on the top of your head and probably raise it. So it's good to sometimes make a bubble there. A good way to do that is to steam it here and put your fingers inside like this shape and just kind of make a little hot dog shape in there. But generally, lowering the crown just in front is enough. 90% of the time, that's all you need. If you're doing a mega lower, like, you know, you've got this little short guy who just cannot wear a regular hat. He's got to bring everything way down. You bring the front down. You bring the back down, too. And then, uh, you know, if you want to bring everything down, obviously, teardropping it would be the easiest and most efficient way. But if he doesn't want a teardrop or you think the hat will suck, you know, looking that way, um, that's what you do. You lower the front, you lower the back just a little, and you make a bubble here. You make some indentation, so the felt inside is coming up, like a little bubble. It's going to be up at this height, so nobody will see it, that bubble. Nobody. Not unless you're one of those guys who wears your hat way on the back or something. That's like kind of 1980s or something. 
So yeah, no one will see that bubble. It's just your hat will be able to go lower now because you're not bottoming out. And it'll be able to go low without popping everything out, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Lower the front. You can do it. Don't be so obsessed with crown height. Um, if you want something high, I understand that. You're looking for a high, you know, a vintage kind of crown like the uh, Premier Stratoliner or the Stetsonian. Those are really high hats. Um, but yeah, things that are, you know, regular fedoras, rather than just looking for the right crown height, it's so easy to just lower it, you know? The amount that you need is so minuscule. minuscule. So, okay, here's the, uh, the stock shaping on this here. Let's see how it relates to my hands. Okay, that there is almost. Okay, let's bring it way down. Oh, and a good trick to to um, lowering it a lot and making it look more natural: tighten the pinch. Because when it's open like this, it's hard to get way down. But then what you do is you kind of you know, you bring these in. You do that kind of hourglassy thing. And then you could just lower it. Not too much. Lower it first. And then bring the sides in. It's just a good way to like play it off to make it work. Okay, so we had a whole hand there before. Yeah, it's much lower now. Three fingers. Mm. Low crown hat. If you bring it down, you know, you can get it down. Very extreme, I'm exaggerating it. You know. Generally, don't go that low. Bring it down like, you know, just enough. Make the person happy. Some hats come high on purpose. A lot of European, Italian hats, what they do is they give you extra knowing that you're going to crease it yourself. So you might want to do something, you know, like lower the front, you know, teardrop or whatever. But, um, you know, you have the ability to do some high stuff if you want, but also lower it, you know. Lowering it is no problem. You just, you know, you bring it down a little. Pinch is up to you, you know, it doesn't have to be a tight pinch. You get that height, that's what a center crease does, it sets your height. It sometimes has a very um, a stealthy arch, you don't know it's arching. Oh, congratulations, 6,400 sub subs. We got uh, a lot of subscriptions, 6,400. They're increasing, you know, we're getting like at least 10 a day now and stuff, so it's pretty cool. If you guys have not um, subscribed to Kevin's uh, hat channel, um, please do because that's what kind of you know helps to pay the bills at this time. You know when I'm not at work, um, and it uh, you know allows me to keep the lights on at this channel, get new mics and everything. So yeah, if you don't mind, right down there where it says subscribe, hit it right now. I'll wait. Man, you, yeah, hit that. Press subscribe. And what happens is uh, my video will pop up, you know, when you go to the bottom where it says subscribe and stuff. You go to, uh, okay, here's YouTube. 
Okay. You know how on the bottom here you have home, explore, subscriptions, notifications, library, right? Okay. Well, if you go to subscriptions, all the things you subscribe to will pop up there. So let's say you're a Kevin subscriber. Um, if you're looking for my new thing, you go to subscriptions and ah, it hasn't come up yet. Oh, there's a new Kevin. So you'll be the first to see my stuff. And anything that you're really into, if you're into like ownage pranks or something like that, you know, um, or Team Coco or MMA on point or Aussie Man reviews, it doesn't matter. Um, what I do is those particular sites that I really don't want to miss a new video at all, I subscribe to them. That way when I pick up my YouTube, uh, I go straight to subscriptions and that's only my favorite stuff is there. So if you have two or three favorites, plug in Kevin as a subscription and your other two, your bass fish, fishing or your, uh, I don't know, your wheat growing thing or you know whatever you're into. Um, ships in the bottles, um, guitar sites, uh, meteorology, I don't know. Whatever you guys are into, subscribe it, and uh, you help the person who's doing the YouTube channel. It actually helps them like get a tiny bit of money, reach like milestones, like a million subs and stuff. And that takes me further, you know, allows my channel to be seen by more people, helps JJ get more free advertising, and um, I get a few pennies for it too. So, subscribe! So they say in Ownage Pranks, it's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's one of these guys who does different voices, you know, like uh, Egyptian voice and uh, I don't know, all these different characters like uh, a hillbilly and uh, an Asian guy. And he calls people up and kind of pranks them, does these long elaborate pranks for like months and months and stuff using these different voices and you know, switching back and forth and back and forth. It's pretty wild. Um, I always like those voiceover guys who have those wild voices and stuff. Subscribe! He always says that. Don't forget, subscribe! So.